Number 21, calculate the delta S notch for the following changes. And then we have this balanced equation here. We have 2H2 gas plus O2 gas gives me 2H2O liquid. Okay, so delta S, we want to find that out, right? An actual numerical value. Delta S, remember a triangle or a delta is always the change. So the change in entropy. Entropy is your S value. Now this little notch here just says we have to be under standard conditions. And anytime that we're talking about standard conditions, we're talking about appendix values in the back of a textbook. So that's what I did. I went in the back of the textbook to find out what the delta or the, the S values for each component here in my equation. So H2 has a delta, you know, has an S value of 130.7, O2 has an S value of 205.2, and H2O has a, you know, entropy and S value of 70. Now, if we had to estimate if our delta S, if our change in entropy is going to be a positive or negative, it seems that we're going from states that are very high, it has high entropy values, right? Gases are all over the place, right? So I have a lot of randomness. Keep in mind, that's, that's what entropy is all about. I got a lot of randomness. And then I'm converting into something that is more structured right? The molecules are not as spread out. So if I'm going from something that has high randomness to something that's lower, my delta S probably is going to be a negative here. So that's what we're, you know, we, we have an idea that, okay, I'm looking for a negative value. And that's a good way to check if your answer is correct. So now, where do we go from here? Well, <laughs> we have the S values, how are we going to find out an actual change in entropy? Well, we're going to use the formula, which is this right here. Delta S for the whole entire reaction, that's what we're solving for, is the sum, that little Greek, I think it's Greek, means the sum, aka you're adding, right? So it's the sum of all your S values on your products minus all of your S values for your reactants. So we just got to add up both sides. Now, are we going to keep these values or do we have to change them? Well, this goes by the coefficients. I have a two in front of the H2. That means I have to take that 130.7 and times it by two. But I only had a one in front of the O2. So that means I'm just going to take this value and times it by one, right? It's the same number for that. And then the same thing here, I have two H2Os, so I have to take that 70 and times it by two. Now, since you have two reactants, literally the sum, and there's literally a plus sign here, so I have to take whatever this is plus this. And I could do that in the calculator in one shot. Here, since I only have just H2O, I don't have to add it with any other compound because there is none. Let's see what the total sum is for the reactants on the products. So I'm going to say, okay, I got 130.7 times 2 plus the 205.2. And that looks about good. So the side here now is 466.6. The product side is just going to be 140, right? Because 70 times 2, 140. We'll keep that sig fig at the end, 140.0. And now we are ready to plug it in. This is the total for the products. This is the total for the reactants. Products minus reactants. So my delta S for my whole entire reaction is 140.0 minus the sum of the reactants, which was 466.6. And we're going to get a delta S value of, and if you can see here, it's going to be a negative value. So we made a correct hypothesis, 140 minus 466.6. I get a negative 326.6. And units are joules per mole times Kelvin. Now, it doesn't matter whether you put the whole slash, you know, horizontally or we could do it like this. They all mean the same thing.
And that is your final answer. So let's just color it in. Happy blue. And that's the answer. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. Keep studying hard. I will talk to you all in future lessons. And let's keep, you know, studying hard. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.